HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hopkinton Hillers Softball on HCAM. Today, it's the Hopkinton Hillers taking on the Bellingham Blackhawks, and we are set to get underway here at the turf fields at Hopkinton High School. As set to deliver the pitch is Charlotte Can, and the first pitch is hit foul by Madison Mantagani, the center fielder. Tom Nappy, Larry Sacklad on the call. John Ritz is our cameraman today. 63 degrees, sunny skies, beautiful day for a softball. We'll get you that Bellingham lineup in just a moment as that next pitch is a ball. Let's take a look at the Bellingham lineup. Madison Mantegani, the center fielder, starts things off. The designated player, Casey McGowan, batting second as this is hit up the middle past the dive of Emily Whalen. And that is a base hit by the center fielder to start things off. And now Casey McGowan, the second hitter in the lineup, will step in. She's the designated player, and she's followed by Katie Reed batting third. Kaylee McGowan hitting cleanup. Kelly Morrison hitting fifth. Ryan Haynes, the catcher, hitting sixth. Kayla Martinez, the third baseman, hitting seventh. Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder, hitting eighth. And Lauren Kay, the right fielder, hitting ninth. A 1 and 0 count on McGowan as Ken is set to deliver. Outside, 2 and 0. And Larry, how about that Hillers defense today? All right, we'll go for the 9 and 1 Hopkins and Hillers. Tara Kester at shortstop. Alyssa McIntyre. Excuse me, Alyssa McIntyre is at shortstop. Tara Kester's at third base. Emily Whalen at second base. At first base today is Kylie Stevens in for Bella Onzi. In left field is Megan Sullivan. Center field, all star Katie Hawley. In right field, Krista McCluskey. Charlotte Can on the mound. Catching her today is Jillian Cedia. That pitch is fouled away. And that'll put the count two and two. This is our first real good day for, for softball action. Yeah, it's certainly been very rainy the last few days, but a beautiful day today. So it is certainly fortunate that they're able to get a game in on this day. And we'll take you through the standings in a moment, Bellingham and Hopkinton both towards the top. The Hillers are right at the top as, as this is hit up the left side and that is going to be a fair ball. So back to back singles to start things off for Bellingham. Let's take a look at the softball standings as set to step in is Katie Reed the shortstop. We'll start off with the TVL large. The Hillers in first at nine and one. Medfield six and three. Norwood five and two. Ashland three and four. Allison one and six as there's a strike, and Westwood 0 and 7 in the TVL small, Norton 5 and 3, Bellingham 4 and 3, Medway 5 and 3, Dedham 5 and 2, as this is hit towards the wall, that's going to get down for a base hit, lead runner being waved around, and it's 1-0 Bellingham, an RBI double for Katie Reed. Madison Mantegani comes around to score, up to third is McGowan. Continuing on with the TVL small standings, you got Medway at five and three, Dover Sherborne two and seven, Millis two and six, and Dedham five and two as that pitches down low. Nice block by Cedia. She's really solid behind the plate. That ball that's just hit the left field would have been to the wall had we been on the grass field. There's a strike, one and one. On McGowan, the first baseman, no outs. Two on for Bellingham, a run already in. Bellingham led by head coach Dennis Baker Sr. as this is hit high in the air and it is dropped by the shortstop. Everybody is going to be safe and now she throws it away and a run will score. It's 2-0 Bellingham, a big error there by Alyssa McIntyre. And that's two errors by McIntyre. I don't know if she lost the ball in the sun or what. I was just going to say, I turned turned around to look at the sun, but 
I don't think she was ready. Carly Stevens was ready for that throw at first base. Kelly Morrison, the second baseman, will step in. Runners on second and third for Bellingham. That's very uncharacteristic for the Hillers to make some defensive gaffes. Certainly is. Morrison just about ready to step in. Line up and the pitch from Can. It's up high. One and oh. It's an unusual position for Hopkins to find themselves behind 2 0. Certainly is. She deals. Down low. Hillers have only lost one game all year, and that was that 10 inning game against Lincoln Sudbury. Line up and the pitch. High and outside. 3 and 0 oh is the count to Morrison. Well, and then when you have a big error like that, sometimes it'll get to the pitcher as well, and there's a four pitch walk. Well, now force is in order here, so. Any base. Ryan Haynes will step in. Ryan Haynes is the catcher. Bases full of Blackhawks. Down low. Charlotte can continuing to struggle. The Hillers have uh, Juliana Cedia on the bench, just in case Charlotte can, can't get out of this inning. High and outside there. Set to deliver. Swing and a miss, good pitch there. Vicious cut on that one. She was going for the downs. Two and one is the count. Megan Sullivan's playing in a little shallow for my liking. That's it, foul, two and two. And this is up the middle, up the left side. That's going to get through for a hit. A run comes in to score. It's three nothing Bellingham. An RBI single for Ryan Haynes. Katie Reed comes around to score. Up to third is McGowan. And Kelly Morrison up to second. Now Kayla Martinez, the third baseman, steps in. And this is hit high in the air over to center field. And Whalen calls off Holly and makes the catch and the runners stay put. One away. I didn't see an infield fly being called on that one. Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder, will step in. Up high, one and oh. So, this died, so uh, we won't be able to hear each other. Try to look the back. Swing and a miss. Looks like she tipped it, one and one. Set to deliver. Upstairs, two and one. So Bellingham rallying in this first inning. Charlotte Cann hasn't had the majority of the starts this year, so you know it's tough that she's got to come right out of the gate and be behind 3 0. She's set to deliver. And there's four balls, and a run comes in to score. So the walk to Rodriguez, that scores McGowan, 4-0 Bellingham. Lauren Kay, the right fielder, will step in. No panic on the Hopkins and Hillers coaching staff. There's a ball. One and oh. Down low. 
Well, a rough start to this one for the Hillers. Well, we see a little rumblings in the bullpen here. There's a strike. Two and one. Juliana Cedia getting up. Pitches up high. Three and one. Set to deliver. And there's another walk and another Bellingham run. Here comes a little mound visit for Coach Allenby. And will make it five to nothing. Kelly Morrison comes around to score. Ryan Haynes up to third. Alexis Rodriguez up to second. Lauren K to first. And Bellingham has batted around. There's still only one out in the inning as well. well you wonder if you'll uh, see Cedia start to get loose to come into the game. I saw her get up for a second, but I'm blocked out if she's warming up. Well, Hopkinton can put. Well, here comes. Juliana Cedia is going to replace Charlotte Can. And we will have a pitching change, so with the pitching change, we'll take a timeout. A 5 0 Bellingham lead on H Cam. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. A gun? I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller volleyball team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Cam. Hey, I love H Cam. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Woo! Continuing on in the first inning, Juliana Cedia has entered the game for the Hillers. And this is up the right side, bobbled by the first baseman. Everyone's safe. Third error of the inning for the Hillers. And it is six to nothing now, Bellingham. So Mantagani reaches on the error. Rodriguez up to third, Kay up to second. McGowan to the plate. She singled her last time up. Down low. A belated happy Cinco de Mayo to you, Tom? Same to you. Did you do, uh, did you no. have any uh, Mexican food yesterday? No, Chinese. <laughs> Inside. Two and oh. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle. Handled by Whalen. Flips the second for one. A run does score. And then an overthrow to first base. Another run scores. So two runs score. And now. McGowan advancing to second. So that's a sacrifice RBI for McGowan. Mm. Rodriguez came around to score as well as Kay. I hear circus music playing. That was a misfire by Carly Stevens to home. Brought Seedy away up the third baseline. It certainly was. Katie Reed steps in. This is a comedy of errors, this first inning. That's fouled away. Two outs in the inning. Well, Hopkinton is known for its offense. They put up 25 runs against Holliston. They're going to have to get their bats out in the bottom half of the inning. Down low. One and one is the count. Just outside. And this is hit in the air over to center field. That's gone. See you later. Wow, Bellingham pouring it on. A two run homer for Katie Reed. And a 10 to nothing lead for the Blackhawks. Any do-overs in softball, Tom? <laughs> Unfortunately for the Hillers, no. That was a clout. 
Katie Hawley took one look and uh, said forget it. Kaylee McGowan will step in as Bellingham continues the bat here in this top of the first. I think that's their first home run this year. I checked their stats and I was looking at their power numbers. I didn't see a home run, but now they have one. There's a strike. Juliana Cedia, one of the harder throwers in the TVL. That hitter there, Katie Reed, just used some of her power. Foul tip. I'll make it 0 and 2. That ball had absolutely no loft to it, a line drive. And this is up the left side. That's going to get through for a base hit. Bellingham, they're just continuing to get on base and take advantage of the pitching struggles and fielding struggles of the Hillers. It's Kelly officially Morrison a whooping in. right now. It certainly is. And this is hit high in the air. Cedia makes the catch. And finally, we are through the top of the first. A 10-run top of the first for Bellingham. It's 10-0 Blackhawks on HCAM. Bottom of the first inning, Bellingham off to a 10 to nothing lead over the Hillers. Emily Whalen set to step in. Let's take a look at the Hillers lineup. Emily Whalen, the second baseman, leads things off. Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder, batting second. Katie Hawley, the center fielder, batting third. Jillian Cedia, the catcher, hitting cleanup. Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, hitting fifth. Tara Kester, the third baseman, hitting sixth. Caitlin Destacio, the designated player, hitting seventh. And it was going to be Charlotte Can hitting eighth, but she got pulled from the game after a rough start on the pitcher's circle. So more than likely it will be Juliana Cedia hitting in her spot. And then you got Carly Stevens, the first baseman, hitting ninth as Whalen will fly out to deep center, one away. That's efficient. One pitch, one out. He'll bring up Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder. So, so far everything is just going Bellingham's way. Usually Emily Whalen takes the first pitch. One and oh count on McCluskey. There's a strike, one and one. Hillers baseball also in action against Bellingham. Currently leading one to nothing in the second inning. The game's actually ahead of us after a 10 run top of the first by Bellingham. That never happens. Certainly doesn't. Hiller's going to need to respond in a big way here if they want any chance to get back into this game. Two and two is the count. They just get chip away little by little. Line up and the pitch outside. Full count now on McCluskey. And she'll get a piece of this one over to center field, and it's caught by Madison Mantegani. Mantegani has caught both outs so far this inning. Katie Holly will step in. Do you want the defense for Bellingham? Uh, Absolutely. Why don't we uh, do we, that? We've got Kayla Martinez, and I bet you she's related to the great left-handed pitcher from Bellingham, Kevin Martinez. It's a swing and a miss. We went to Northeastern University. Katie Reed at shortstop. Kelly Morrison at second base. First base, Kaylee McGowan. Foul back. Out in left field, Alexa Rodriguez, number three. Seven, uh, Madison Montagani, who's made two catches already. Number 13, Lauren Kay is in right field. Uh, Ryan Haynes behind the plate. Pitch just missed. Brooke Silvestri is on the hill today for the Bellingham Blackhawks. Silvestri is set to deal to Holly. Down low. That's going to make the count two and two. Katie Holly has been tremendous this season in the field and at the plate. As this is hit in the air, foul. I think she's, she's hitting about 725 last I looked. Possible? 
It certainly is, and we'll get you those numbers in just a moment, as soon as I can dig them up here. She's hitting a 649 on the season. Low and outside, which is tremendous, considering she's had 44 plate appearances, 37 at-bats, 20 runs scored, 19 driven in. Four doubles, three triples, and a home run. That's fouled away. Count remains full. And I think she got like 10 stolen bases, too. We're pretty darn close to it. Tremendous all-around player. She's all over the HCAM softball highlights, making some great defensive grabs. That's fouled away. She's going to Manhattan College, going to be a Lady Jasper. I think I told you the last time it's some type of piece of quartz. Can't figure out why that's a mascot. 705 on base percentage for Holly as well. It's fouled away. No real way of pitching around her. And this is hit foul just Heads above up, Tom. us. And Holly has 12 stolen bases on the season. Ooh. That has to be towards the top of the TVL. And she'll draw the walk here to add on to that great on base percentage. Julian Cedia, the catcher, will step in. Well, here's a chance to put a two spot on the board with her power. There's a strike, runner takes off and she'll steal second successfully. Lucky 13 for Katie Holly. It'll won the center field or on the baseball field. Jill CD is up. And that is inside. And this is hit high in the air towards the second baseman and she'll make the catch after battling the sun to end the inning to a 10 to nothing Bellingham lead as we head to the second on H camp. Top of the second inning, a 10 to nothing Bellingham lead. Due up is six, seven and eight in the batting order. The catcher, third baseman and left fielder, Ryan Hayes. Kayla Martinez and Alexis Rodriguez. Ran Hayes is one for one with a run scored. A 10 run top of the first for Bellingham. They just rallied. But now you got Juliana Cedia out there to pitch. And we'll see if she's able to settle down here in this inning as this is hit high in the air towards the wall. See ya. 11 nothing Bellingham. A solo shot by the catcher. Ryan Haynes goes yard. Unreal. Bellingham putting on a clinic. Kayla Martinez, the third baseman, will step in. If I'm right, her brother was one of the better pitchers to come out of Bellingham. Pitched for Milford Post 59. Went to Northeastern on a scholarship. I believe you are correct. Swing and a miss. Way out in front of that pitch. Well, Coach Baker has to be happy with his offense so far today. And this is hit towards the wall. And it is caught by Megan Sullivan. A nice catch in left field. Look what I found out there. Ball in the glove. Alexis Rodriguez will step in. Now, I bet you she was named after Alex Rodriguez. Look at that number three. <laughs> Not a coincidence, I don't think. I have a feeling you're right about that. Oh, well, won't be the first time. Her family must be Yankees fans. Yeah, boo, hiss. Cedia delivers. They had a wild situation in the Yankees game yesterday. It started pouring rain in the bottom of the eighth. 
And then after an hour or so, they finally called it. But they were playing in pouring rain for a while. And they ended up stopping when the ball kept slipping out of the pitcher's hands. Well, it was pouring runs in Chicago for the Red Sox on Saturday. Certainly was. As this is hit high in the air to left field. And Hawley's going to call off Sullivan to make the catch. Two away. That'll bring up Lauren Kay, the right fielder. Hillers really just don't have it today. Even the throws in from the outfield are going over their infielders' heads. Very uncharacteristic. Down low. Well, this game attracting a whole lot of local media attention. It's both teams towards the top of the TVL. Is that four-lettered uh, TV network down here? <laughs> yeah, they're called HCAM. Oh. One and one. That was the one that began with the E. Big crowd on hand, though, today. Up high. Well, I think this is probably going to be the nicest day of the week, so certainly a good day to take in some baseball or softball. As this is hit in the air to right field in foul territory and out of the reach of everybody. Two and two. Julian Asidi is not used to giving up home run balls. She had a couple of taters hit off her. Down low. Well, this Bellingham team has certainly showed throughout the season that they can hit. That's fouled away. Count remains full. I'm very impressed with the Blackhawks. I looked at their stats before the game and nothing really jumped out at me, but their play in the field today has jumped out. Fortunately, their stats were only updated throughout the first four oh, games they've had so far. Oh, I get it. And their strike three got her looking. And after giving up a solo shot to start off the inning, Bellingham goes down 1-2-3. It's an 11-0 Bellingham lead on HCAM. Bottom of the second inning, an 11-0 Bellingham lead here at the softball field. Over at the baseball field, the Hiller is leading Bellingham 1-0. They're in the second inning still. So we've caught up to them, both games in the bottom of the second as Alyssa McIntyre steps in. Swing and a miss. She was way out in front of that pitch. Oh and one. There's a ball, one and one. Set to deliver. This is up the left side foul, one and two. I don't want to put the cart before the horse, Tom, but uh, what is the mercy rule in softball? Well, in this case, it would be uh, if one of the teams is winning uh, by 12 runs or more at the end of uh, five innings, then we could have a mercy. As McIntyre will reach here, a single for McIntyre. That hugged the line. And now Tara Kester, the third baseman, will step in. Her brother's playing on the other field, playing third base just like Tara does. She's had a good season at the plate. Swing and a miss there. And the catcher thought about checking in on the runner at first. Sylvester seems to have a decent changeup. That's back to back. Sylvester deals. This is up the left side, gloved by the third baseman. She thought about throwing to second, but will throw to first instead. So she'll get the out at first. McIntyre advances to second. Six to three on the out for Kester. One away. Caitlin Destacio, the designated player, will step in. That was a college level play there. She got the ball, 
pumped to second base, saw she wasn't going to get Alyssa McIntyre and had enough arm strength to go over to first base. That was a nice play. And this is hit in the air over to left field and caught by Alexis Rodriguez. Now bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher who took over for Charlotte Can, who started the game. Juliana Cedia at the plate this season, a 529 batting average, 17 at bats. And she'll add on to that batting average here as this is going to get into center field. The throw home is not in time, and it's an 11 to 1 game, an RBI single for Juliana Cedia. We'll probably have a pinch runner for Cedia. Heather Sivo would be my guess. Now Carly Stevens, the first baseman, will step in. No, not Heather Sivo. It's going to be Sienna Harrigan. Pinch running for Cedia. Carly Stevens did an admiral job foul ball behind the plate against uh, Lincoln Sudbury when Jill Cedia was over in France or China or some foreign country during the April break. Silvestri deals inside. One and one. Carly Stevens, first baseman today at the plate. And this is foul. Martinez seeing a lot of action this inning. Stevens hitting a 176 on this season. 3 4 17 at the plate. Four runs scored, one driven in. Down low. Two and two. Harrigan's going to make sure. Whatever she does on the base pass is very, very safe. You don't want to get thrown out and make the third out of the inning. And this is up the left side. Glove by the shortstop. Throw to first. Not in time. Everybody's safe. First and second. Harrigan pinch running for CD advancing to second. Stevens at first. Emily Whalen to the plate. Two outs in the inning. I think she'll be a little bit more patient than she was as a first time up. She uh, swung at the first pitch, which is very, very unlike her. She's got a runner in scoring position here. She'll be going to University of Massachusetts Amherst as a minute woman next year. Line up and the pitch. That's foul. Kristen McCluskey on deck. Emily Whalen hitting a 550 on the season. 18 runs scored, five driven in. Also has a couple doubles to her credit and a couple triples. This is hit up the right side, gloved by the first baseman. She'll dive to the first base bag to get the third and final out of the inning. An 11 to one Bellingham lead as we head to the top of the third on H cam. Top of the third inning, top of the order for Bellingham, who finds themselves up 11 to one on the Hillers. Madison Mantegani, Casey McGowan, and Katie Reed set to hit. Well, Juliana Cedia put out the fire, held uh, Bellingham to only one run last inning. That's a moral victory right there. Certainly is, down low, one and oh. And that is a fair ball picked up by Cedia. Throw to first. Not in time. Antigone is aboard with a leadoff single. Casey McGowan, the designated player, will step in. The ball went all about 15 feet. She'll take it. Certainly a tough play to make for Cedia. So that one's fouled away. 
Well, if a runner knows what's good for her, she won't be st stealing second base. Not on Jill Cedia's arm. She's got a cannon. A one count. There's a strike. Well, I'd imagine after a 10-run first inning by Bellingham, you'll see this game settle down quite a bit. We don't want to see any white flags out of the uh, Hiller's dugout. Upstairs, runner taking off, throw to second, and she's out. Great throw by Jillian Cedia. There's that cannon I was talking about. Caught stealing as Mantegani, much to her dismay. One, two count on McGowan. And this is to the right to Kester at third base, two away. Katie Reed, the shortstop, will step in. Just up high. The Hillers were supposed to play Friday against Norwood, but that game was postponed due to rain. To a date to be determined. Same with the baseball team. Will be in action on Thursday night, right? Certainly will. Double header action. Hillers softball against Ashland at 415. And then Hillers baseball playing a 6 p.m. game Thursday night. Well, I hope they put on the lights because you know I'm, sure I'm they scared will. of the dark. You know. <laughs> 3 0 count on Reed, who is already two for two today, including a two run homer. She'll take a strike there. She had a RBI double, which scored the first run for Bellingham in their 10-run first inning, and then a two-run homer to score the last two runs in that 10-run top of the first. 3-1 pitch. And she'll get a piece of this one. Over to left field it goes, and it'll drop in front of Sullivan. A 2-0 base hit for Reed. And she is having herself quite a day at the plate. Kaylee McGowan, the first baseman, will step in. CD deals. Down low. Home crowd is awful quiet today, Tom. They certainly are. That's what a lot, that's what 10 or 11 runs will do. There's a strike. One and one. And this is hit in the air and handled by the shortstop. Nice play by Alyssa McIntyre. And that is the third out of the top of the third to the bottom of the inning we go. It's an 11 to one Bellingham lead on H cam. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill. Located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. That's what I'm going to do. Bottom of the third inning, 2, 3, and 4 do up for the Hillers. Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder, starts things off. She'll be followed up by Katie Holly, the center fielder. And Julian Cedia, the catcher, made a tremendous play last inning to catch an attempted steal by Bellingham. Uh, Mantegani trying to steal as this is up the right side, bobbled by the first baseman, and safely aboard is McCluskey. That's a base hit all the way. I'm giving her the hit, absolutely. That was a uh, tough play to make. Coach uh, Shannon Albury in her 11th year. She's a former UMass Dartmouth Corsair. How do you like that for a mascot, a Corsair? And Holly is going to rip this one over to center field. Off the wall it goes. And here comes McCluskey over to third. She's going to try to score and will. It's an 11 to two ball game in RBI double for Katie Holly. That was nearly gone. She certainly got a good piece of that one. And now Jillian Cedia, the catcher will step in. I don't know, you smell maybe a comeback here by the I Hillers, I don't know, Larry? maybe there was a little uh, in between inning pep talk. 
And this is hit high in the air over to center field, and it's mishandled by the shortstop. And the throw to third to try to catch the lead runner is going to be off the mark, and Hawley is safe. That was a dangerous, dangerous play by Hawley. And is there arm hurt? I'm giving the shortstop an error on that one for Bellingham. She's flexing her arm there. Cedia is aboard at first, Hawley over at third. And we're gonna have a pinch runner for Cedia. Heather Sivo is going to come into the game to pinch run. Getting back to uh, Shannon Albury, the coach, she teaches world history. She was the JV coach before being elevated to the uh, head coaching position, assisted by coach Jennifer Martell from Ashland. Line up and the pitch, down low. And Sivo's taking off, she'll easily steal second. So Alyssa McIntyre better do something with her uh, grandmothers and mom and dad watching. 1-0 count, and this is a, wow, it was called foul, so it must have got maybe a piece of the plate before it rolled up the line. Or her tootsie, one or the other. I think it went off her front foot myself. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. One and two. There's that change up of Silvestri. It's a real weapon. Silvestri deals. And this is a little bloop shot right to the third baseman. And that's the second out of the inning. Actually, excuse, excuse me, that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up Tara Kester, the third baseman. She's got two runners in scoring position. 11 to two, Bellingham lead. We're in the bottom of the third. Line up in the pitch, down low. You come down early to a game and watch Coach Alberry uh, do infield, outfield. It's pretty impressive. Kester hitting a 368 on the season, 19 at bats. Swing and a miss. Swung right over the top of that pitch. She has scored 11 runs, driven in seven. Two doubles, a triple, and a home run to her credit. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. One and two. Again, she swung over the top of that. Well, the Hillers baseball game Keeping pace with us, they're in the bottom of the third as well. Still 1-0 Hopkinton. Pitch up high, two and two. Nice take by Kester. So maybe the baseball team won't have a three hour game today. Maybe not, we picked <laughs> the wrong game. <laughs> Fouled away. Two and two. Those last two games were punishment assignments. No overtime either. There's a ball, full count now on Kester. Almost too close to take. She got the call though. Base hit should score two runs with the speed they have on the bases. Line up in the pitch. And she'll rip this one into center field. That's going to get down. Holly around to score. Sivo being waved around as well. And it's an 11 to four game. A two RBI double for Tara Kester. No quitting these hellas. And that'll bring up Caitlin Destacio, the designated player. So it's been a three run bottom of, three run, uh, bottom of the third so far for the Hillers. And a chance for more with a runner on second and only one out. See, I don't think she's had too much plate action this year, if my memory serves me correct, and hasn't been doing a good job these days. Stasio, 667 batting average, two for three at the plate. And she gets a piece of this one. It's right to the third baseman. Martinez. And that's two outs. And that'll bring up Juliana Cedia, the pitcher, took over for Charlotte Can. Let's 
Cedia has given up three runs in the pitcher's circle so far this game. And Charlie Can responsible for the other eight. But uh, probably not too many earned in her outing. Well, she gave up the two run homer and she was responsible for one of the runs. And then the solo shot last inning. Swing and a miss there, one and one. I'm talking about Miss Can. She was snake bit, I think. Well, she certainly was, yeah. There was a lot of unearned runs in that inning. I think there was two unearned runs. As this is up the middle, past the reach of the third baseman, throw to first is an overthrow. Here comes another Hiller's run. It's an 11 to five ball game. So Cedia reaches on the error. Are we gonna have Sienna Harrigan to pinch run? And Kessler came around to score and now we'll have Sienna Harrigan come out to pinch run. Carly Stevens will step into the batter's box. Still a battle going on over at the baseball field. Oh, and one count on Stevens. Line up and the pitch down low. Stevens a 176 batting average on the season. Three for 17 at the plate. Up high. Harrigan with a bit of a lead off of first, trying to challenge the catcher, Ryan Haynes. The Hillers had a hard fought win over Medfield their last time out. Swing and a miss, two and two. Silvestri's had four or five Hiller hitters way out in front with an off-speed pitch. Swing and a miss there for out number three, and that'll retire the side in the bottom of the third, but not before the Hillers plate four runs. It's an 11 to five Bellingham lead as we head to the top of the fourth on H cam. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by Phil's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill, located at 14 Main Street. Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the fourth inning, an 11 to five Bellingham lead. Due up for the Blackhawks is five, six, and seven. Kelly Morrison, the second baseman to start things off. Ryan Haynes, the catcher, will hit next, and then Kayla Martinez, the third baseman. Line up and the pitch. Called strike, or ball one, rather. A misleading sign there by the umpire. Yeah, I thought he went up with his right hand, but changed his mind. Swing and a miss, one and one. That was a power pitch right there. Well, just to recap how this game went so far, Bellingham scored 10 runs in the top of the first, and then added another run in the top of the second, a solo home run by Ryan Haynes, swing and a miss. And then the Hillers responded with a run of their own in the bottom of the second, and the Hillers played four runs in the bottom of the third. And that's where we are at now, an 11-5 lead for Bellingham. Low and outside, two and two. Well, Julia Nasidi has only given up one run since her entrance. True, not true, or has she given up three? I have her for two, outside. Except I believe the last one might have been unearned because of the error. Well, she's given up one run in the innings after she came in for her first full inning of work. She stemmed the tide. Line up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and there's strike three. First, second strikeout of the game for Cedia. They'll bring up Ryan Haynes, the catcher. Ooh, she's trouble. She's been a thumper today. She certainly has, two for two. Two runs scored, singled and homered. She had the solo shot in the second inning. 
Faces a one and oh count here. Fouled away. One and one. She took a home run cut on that one. Set to deliver. Fouled away off the light pole. <laughs> Somebody from the crowd <laughs> screamed out after Carly Stevens caught it off the light pole. I think it was the third base coach. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> One and two. I think that should be a rule. Strike three. <laughs> no. Ooh. The umpire signals outside. Two and two. Haynes almost left her shoes in the batter's box there. CD deals. Fouled away. Count remains two and two. Line up and the pitch. A little outside, says the home plate umpire. Full count. Cedia delivers. Ball four. One out walk. Now bring up Kayla Martinez, the third baseman. It's a good take by Haynes right there. That looked pretty close. CD deals up high. Now Haynes has seen one of her teammates get thrown out by Jill CD. I don't think she'll be taking much of a chance over there. And this is hit in the air over to right field and caught by McCluskey. Two away. Haynes stays put at first base. They'll bring up Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder. Well, the Hill's got at least four more trips to the plate. Make up this six run deficit. They can hold Bellingham here. Swing and a miss, one and one. One on, two outs for Bellingham here in this top of the fourth. One pulled back, low pitch, two and one. Up high. Three and one is the count. And there's a walk. Two on, two outs. Lauren Kay, the right fielder, will step in. Is she related to Mary Kay? Not that I know of. Yeah. Same last name, though. There's a strike. CD is set to deal. That's fouled away. Now she's ahead in the count. CD has pitched pretty well this season. Freshman is a 2.24 ERA. Seven appearances leading into today. Four wins, one loss. He's pitched 40 and two thirds of an inning. She's been the number one from the jump. One two pitch. She plays club ball in Concord with Charlotte Can. And she's struck an out 39 leading into this game, but strikes out another one here. For out number three, an 11 to five Bellingham lead as we head to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM. 
Bottom of the fourth inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen will start things off as the Hillers sent eight to the plate last inning. And they plated four runs in the bottom of the third to make it an 11 to five game. Brooke Silvestri continuing in the pitcher's circle for Bellingham. Infielder is going to play in on the corners. Whalen 0-4-2 so far today. They might have the scouting report on Emily. Inside. She's a slap hitter, but occasionally she'll throw good power. 1-0. Up the first base side, foul. One and one. Coach Alberry played all four years down at University of Dartmouth as a uh, first baseman, catcher, center fielder. She's got a lot of softball knowledge in that uh, head of hers. There's a strike, one and two. That's all I got on her, Tom. Good she stuff. went to Alabama High and she got two dogs. <laughs> Good research, Larry. All right. Up high. Two and two. Hillers baseball continuing to lead Bellingham. They're in the bottom of the fourth. One nothing lead for the Hillers. In their spare time, snowboarding and golf. And that's the end of the bio. And Whalen will hit this one right to the first baseman, one away. It's the second time she's done that. They'll ramp Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder. She can't be too thrilled with that at bat. The lefty awaits the pitch. She is 1-4-2 today, singled and scored a run in the third. She had a good hit the last time up, I think. Certainly did. Katie Hawley waiting on deck, the ever so dangerous one. There's a bunt foul, one and one. Hmm, not so sure about that. Bunting with six runs behind. Hmm. Silvestri set to deliver. There's a strike. One and two. And there's change a, up there. There's that change up of hers. That one inside. That's her out pitch, I think. The two two. Here's strike three. Got her looking two away. We'll bring up Katie Holly, the center fielder. Look at how deep the right fielder's playing on her. She, she might as well jump the fence. And this is up the middle, into center field it goes. A two out single for Katie Holly, who is two for two at the plate today with a walk and a run, and also an RBI. Julian Cedia, of the catcher will step in. All the money in my pocket that she's gonna steal. Deal. All right. Ooh, I got to fork it over. Oh, and one. Well, did you mean before that pitch or during the at bat? Well, no, but during that pitch. <laughs> up the middle, and it's picked up by the shortstop. We'll step on second for the force out. And that will do it for the bottom of the fourth. To the top of the fifth we go. Bellingham leading Hopkinton, 11-5 on HCAM. Top of the fifth inning, top of the order for Bellingham. Addison Mantegani, Casey McGowan, and Katie Reed do up. Face Juliana Cedia, who has pitched well since coming into the game for Charlotte Can, a swing and a miss there. Oh, and one. She ran up to the... Pitch a la Emily Whalen. Hiller is baseball update. They're now leading two to nothing. That game's still in the bottom of the fourth. That pitch up high. One and one. Yeah. 
Cedia deals. And that's foul. Two, one and two. And Tagani is two for three at the plate. A pair of singles, she also reached on an error. She has scored two runs today. Upstairs, make that one run actually. Wind up and the pitch, down low. I know they're her. gonna say foul tip. That hit her in the foot, for hit her right in the tootsie. Oh, okay, hit by a pitch. I thought the umpire screamed foul tip. That'll bring up Casey McGowan, the designated player. One on, no outs for Bellingham. Fouled away. And this is up the left side, fair ball, picked up by Kessler, throw to second, they get the force out. So McGowan reaches on the five to four force out. Tara Kester cut that runner down at second base. Katie Reed steps in. Line up and the pitch, there's a strike. Reed having quite a day. She's a triple away from the cycle. What's the cycle? <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> really? All right. She had a RBI double and a two run homer in the first and a single in the third. Gets a piece of this one, and it's popped up, and that'll drop into center field. I think the Sun might have had an impact there, but Reed's aboard with the single. McGowan up to second, and now it'll be Kaylee McGowan, the first baseman, stepping in. So it's two on with one out for Bellingham as they are threatening once again in the top of the fifth. There's a strike. I don't know, that was Alyssa McIntyre's ball all the way. There's no way Megan Sullivan or Katie Hawley, as good as she is, we're gonna get that ball. Upstairs on that pitch, one and one. CD deals, and that is hit foul. Is it catchable? No. One hand, two's the count. Good effort over there. Still 2 nothing over at the uh, boys' field. CD delivers, and this is hit in the air over to the wall and caught by Sullivan, and the runners will stay put. Another nice catch there by Megan Sullivan, two away, and that'll bring up Kelly Morris in the second baseman. She had it all the way. She had to battle the sun a little bit to make that play. Two on, two outs. CD can hold the fort right here. Hellers will have three more plate appearances. Upstairs. Set to deliver. And this is up the right side and caught by the first baseman who will step on the bag for the out. And we will head to the bottom of the fifth. That's an 11 to five Bellingham lead on HCAM. 
Bottom of the fifth inning, Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, will step in to face Silvestri. Five, six, and seven due up for the Hillers, McIntyre, Kester, and Destacio. 11-5, Bellingham lead as that pitch is in there for a strike, 0-1. Oh Oh, and two. We'll see if she comes out of Alyssa with that changeup to put her away. McIntyre one for two today with a run scored. We'll follow that one away. Looks like Silvestri has settled down quite a bit since giving up four runs in the third. McIntyre at a 385 on the season coming into this game as that one's filed away. 15 for 39 at the plate, 11 runs scored, eight driven in, four doubles. Based on the way the Hillers have been playing, I thought this was gonna be a laugher today, but the joke is on me. Bellingham has turned the tables on the Hillers. And this is hit high in the air and caught by the second baseman, one away. Bellingham is always a very well coached team. And they're always very competitive as well in the TVL with their softball program. Tara Kester will step in. She is 1 for 2 today. Had a 2 RBI double back in the third. Down low. Swing and a miss, one and one. Maybe it'll be pizza tonight, I think. It's always around the fifth inning I get these urges. <laughs> Set to deliver. And this is up the left side, bobbled by the third baseman and Kessler is going to reach safely. That was a tough play to make by Martinez. Kester is aboard, for now we'll score to hit. I'll give her a hit. Stasio will step in. Caitlin Stasio, 0 for 2 so far today. Swing and a miss. Swung right over the top on that one. And she'll get a piece of this one. That's a fair ball picked up by the catcher. Throw to first, they get the out. Throw to second, they nearly got Kester off the bag, but she's safe. Two away. Heads up play by the first baseman, throwing behind Kester. So Destasio throwing out with the rare two to three. And I know that'll bring up Juliana Cedia. Kester advanced to second. Big opportunity here for Cedia. Down low. Kester will be off on contact with two out. Cedia is one for two. She had an RBI single in the second inning. Down low. Two and oh. Payne's is a scrappy little catcher. There's a strike, two and one. And this is up the right side, past the dive of the first baseman. Kester being waved around. The throw in is to the pitcher and it's an 11 to six game. Juliana Cedia does it again, an RBI single. Come Sienna Harrigan. Yeah, Sienna Harrigan out there to pinch run. Carly Stevens to the plate. She's one for two today. Well, things are getting interesting here. No, I don't know. I don't know. A couple more runs make it interesting. And Stevens gonna drive this to center. It's caught for the third out of the inning. The Hillers plate one. It's an 11 to six Bellingham lead as we head to the top of the sixth on H Cam. H Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by Bill's Pizzeria Kitchen and Grill located at 14 Main Street.
Find them online at mybillspizza.com. Top of the sixth inning, an 11-6 ball game. Bellingham leading the Hillers. Due up for the Blackhawks is 6, 7, and 8. Ryan Haynes, the catcher, to start things off. Kayla Martinez, the third baseman. And then Alexis Rodriguez, the left fielder. This is hit in the air over to right field. Whalen was trying to get there, but is called off by McCluskey, who will make the catch. One away, and that'll bring up Kayla Martinez, the third baseman. Would you like some info from the boys' game? Sure. Josh Fisher pitched five strong innings, 85 pitches. They're leading two to nothing over Bellingham with a cool glass burn warming up. It'll be a big win for the baseball team if they close that out. Bellingham towards the top of the TVL. One and oh count on Martinez. Of course, the Hillers baseball team towards the top of the TVL. A pitch up high, two and oh. Couple of Titans battling it out on the turf field. That's right. They had the upper field already and all lined. I don't know why they're playing on that turf field. Fouled away, two and one. You know how much I love that turf field, Tom. <laughs> mm. Two one pitch, swing and a miss. Two and two. That was a power pitch right there. Certainly was. Swing and a miss there. Another strikeout for Cedia, two away. And Jill Cedia thought that was the third out when it was only the first, or well, the second, sorry. Alexis Rodriguez steps in. Down low. One and oh count. Alexis Rodriguez. So far today, has walked a pair of times and flew out. And hits this one in the air in front of Whalen. It goes, and she'll, she won't have a play on it. So Rodriguez reaches with a two-out infield single. And that'll bring up Lauren Kay, the right fielder. Ball had a lot of English on it, backspin, so it was a tough play for Emily Whalen, the shorthanded second baseman, base woman. Bellingham would like to add some insurance runs. We have a stoppage here. I think the umpire is looking for more softballs. And we are set to go. Well, we get fans all over the place here today. Swing and a miss. Gets a piece of this one over to left field, and that'll drop just in front of Sullivan. Everybody's safe. A single for K. Rodriguez up to second, and that'll bring up Madison Mantegani, the center fielder. Two on, two outs for Bellingham. She had a big hit in the first inning, I think. Start things off. There's a strike. Strike two. Fouled away. Count remains 0 and 2. Madison will hit this one to right field, past the reach of McCluskey, 
and the runner is going to be waved around. Will he try to wave in two? Yes, they will. The throw is cut off, and two more runs score for Bellingham. A mishandle by McCluskey in right field. And that could have ended the inning if she made the catch, but instead, Bellingham has two more runs. That hurts. That really hurts. Certainly does. So Mantegani all the way at third. She reaches on the error. Casey McGowan, the designated player, steps in as this is hit in the air to Alyssa McIntyre, who makes the catch for the third out. But Bellingham plates two more runs, and they lead it 13 to 6 as we head to the bottom of the six on H Cam. Bottom of the sixth inning, top of the order for the Hillers. Emily Whalen to step in. A 13 to 6 lead now for Bellingham as an error by. Kristen McCluskey cost two runs. A pitch down low, one and oh. Emily Whalen can't be happy with a couple of her at bats today where she hit it right down to the first baseman. And she looked like she was thinking about a bunt there, but another low pitch makes it two and oh. She likes to slap the ball between third and short if she can. And she'll get a piece of this one. She's going to be happy with that at bat as that's driven into center field. A single for Whalen. And now Kristen McCluskey, the right fielder, will step in. And it looks like we're going to have a new pitcher for Bellingham. Or perhaps just a conference here. All yeah, right. that two-run error out there last inning was, I don't know, that might be too much to overcome. So conference on the mound for Bellingham, and now we're ready to go. One on, no outs for the Hillers. Whalen thought about taking off, but we'll go back to first as... Haynes threatens the throw down. I mean, the Whalen's run doesn't really mean anything right now, being seven runs down. This is a bunt. That's a fair ball. Picked up, throw to first. They get the out at first. Whalen does push up to second. So McCluskey throwing out two to three, one away. I'll bring up Katie Holly. I'm not so sure I would have given up that out for uh, one base advance. No, I think you have to try to rally a little uh, bit. Yeah, but you got Katie Hawley up now with first base open. They can be really um, stingy with her. Right, they might potentially walk her here. You don't see many intentional walks in softball. Holly will step in. Silvestri set to deliver. They may pitch around her, though. Can't imagine they'll give her anything good to hit. Yeah, they do there, but that's fouled away. Oh, and one. Down low. And now Whalen taking off, and it's a misfire by the catcher. But fortunately for Bellingham, the shortstop was standing behind third base. So Whalen steals third. That was a heads up play by the shortstop, Reed. Certainly was. Down low. So they're not giving Holly much on the last two pitches. Tara Kester waiting for her chance on deck. Down low, three and one. Line up and the pitch. There's a walk to Holly. She's gonna take off a second base. Throw to second, they got her, and now they'll throw home, and Whalen will score. Little trickery there. 
but they do get the second out. Uh, I still wouldn't trade that. 13-6 game now. Julian Cedia will step in. That one either. I mean, you got Cedia coming to the plate. Now you got the bases all cleaned off. The best you can do here is a solo home run. Line up in the pitch. Cedia gets a piece of this one to the wall. See you later. Home run, Cedia. Well, that's the well, best you can do right there is hit the ball out of the ballpark. Well, if Holly didn't try to advance, could have been a three-run shot there. But it is a solo shot for Cedia. 13-8 is our score. Now Alyssa McIntyre, the shortstop, will step in. She's had a tough day at the plate. Well, it's back to a five-run deficit for the Hillers. Hillers baseball update. They now lead three to nothing in the bottom of the fifth. This is hit in the air over to the wall, and it's caught by the left fielder. And that'll be out number three in the bottom of the six. But the Hillers do play two runs. And it's a 13 to eight Bellingham lead as we head to the top of the seventh on HCAM. Top of the seventh inning due up for Bellingham, three, four, and five. Katie Reed, Kaylee McGowan, and Kelly Morrison. Last inning, both teams played it a pair of runs to bring it back to a five run game. And speaking of five run games, the Hillers baseball team leading Bellingham heading to the top of the six, five to nothing. Great segue, Tom. <laughs> CD is set to deal. And this is ripped into center field. That'll get down for a leadoff single. Kaylee McGowan, the first baseman, will step in. Up in the pitch, up high. One and oh count. CD is set to deliver. Down low, two and oh. And this is hit in the air over to center field. Katie Holly makes the catch, one away. Kelly Morrison, the second baseman, will step in. Morrison so far today is one for four at the plate. Single and score run back in the first. Up high. One zero. Swing and a miss. One Chase the high one. Cole Glassburn has entered in the game for the boys' baseball team, taking the place of Josh Fisher. Swing and a miss. One and two. Two letter high pitches for swing and strikes. CD deals. Just outside. Two and two. Foul tip. Tower remains two and two. One on, one out for Bellingham here in the top of the seventh. 
Can Hopkins and Hold'em here and put a five spot in on the Blackhawks in the bottom half of the seven? I don't know. Down low, full count. And this is up the middle. Glove by Whalen. Flipped a second for a one. Throw to first. Not in time. They do get the lead runner two away. Kelly Morrison reaches on the four to six force out. That double play attempt was a little slow developing. No chance to get that. Rand Haynes steps in. There's a strike. CD is set to deal. And this is right up the middle, but right to McIntyre. There was some power on that one, but a nice catch by McIntyre for the third out. To the bottom of the inning we go. Bellingham leading Hopkinton 13 to 8 on H Cam. Ball was smoked. Bottom of the seventh. The Hillers down to their final three outs, trailing Bellingham 13 to 8. Six, seven, and eight do up for the Hillers. Tara Kester, Caitlin DeStacio, and Juliana Cedia. Well, it's, this game started with a 10 run first inning by Bellingham. Majority of those runs scored off of the starting pitcher, Charlotte Can. And there was also a number of runs that were scored due to errors. Lots of them. Yeah, they had three errors in that inning alone. This is hit in the air over to the walls. And that's going to drop right in front of the center fielder. Over to second goes Kester. And she's aboard with a double. They'll bring up Caitlin DeStacio, the designated player. And Tara Kester at the plate today. Three for four. She's got bragging rights at her house tonight. I'm sure her brother didn't <laughs> hit a ball that far today. <laughs> I bet money on it. He also has scored two runs. Pitch inside, one and oh. Bellingham trying to get their fifth win of the season. They're currently four and three. The Hillers nine and one. Swing and a miss. Coach going to go to the bench for some hitting today. And this is right to the first baseman. One away, throw to second, and Kester back safely. So one out, and that'll bring up Juliana Cedia. Runner on second for the Hillers. No chances on the base paths for the Hillers. Can't afford an out here. Now low. I believe this is only the second game all season. We've seen a bottom of the seventh while the Hillers have been home. The softball team, that is. I thought I saw the Grim Reaper duck in behind the trees there. Did you see him? One and one. Outside. Two and one. Yeah, they've only found themselves in this position one other time this year. That was in a five to four, 10 inning loss against Lincoln Sudbury. This is hit in the air over to the left side and the left, the right fielder could not make the catch. Left fielder rather, and everybody's gonna be safe. And now up to second goes Cedia. And then will come Heather Sivo as a pinch, pinch runner, I bet. So I think the Sun clearly had a factor there. Oh, Sienna Harrigan. Sienna Harrigan in a pinch run. You got runners on second and third now, one out. Carly Stevens to the plate. She got a nice piece the last time up. So 
Silvestri set the deal. And this is a fair ball back to the pitcher. Throw to first, gets away. She threw it away and Kester comes around to score. Everybody's going to be safe. Up to second goes Stevens and it's a 13 to nine game. So an error on the third baseman. Kester scores. CD up to third. And things getting very interesting here with Emily Whalen up at the plate. Yeah, that ball just sailed on her. There's a strike. Hillers can't take any chances on the bases. I'd imagine Whalen will be swinging here, and she will hit this up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first. They get the out, a run does score. So Whalen with a sacrifice RBI ground out. This, this uh, puts in a interesting situation. If, if we get a runner on and Katie Hawley could come into the plate, be the tying run. Kristen McCluskey at the plate now, outside. So there is two outs in the inning, so McCluskey does need to either walk or get a hit here. Down low, two and O. Oh. Runner on third for the Hillers. Two runs have scored to make it a 13 to 10 game. Things are getting a little tight out there for Silvestri. <coughs> Silvestri deals. And this is hit in the air, over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. And it's going to be a 13 to 11 game. And it's going to perhaps be a triple. In the third she goes, safe. She ran right through the coach's stop sign. Kristen McCluskey reaching third base, driving in Carly Stevens. And it's a 13 to 11 Bellingham lead with Katie Holly coming to the plate. If I'm the Bellingham coach, I'm, I pitch around Katie Holly. Let's see what they do here. Fouled away. Apparently they're not gonna do. Two up next is Jillian Cedia. Tying run at the plate for the Hillers. Fouled away. She set she... up for a change up right here. She's a professional hitter though. Outside, one and two. Katie Hawley having a good day at the plate, 3-4-3 three, three with a walk. Has also scored a run and driven in a run. And we'll get a piece of this one, over to left field it goes and it's caught! And that'll end the ball game. Alexis Rodriguez making the closing catch. And things got interesting in that bottom of the seventh as the Hillers plated three runs, but they will fall to Bellingham by a final score of 13-2-11. Certainly an entertaining game here this afternoon, but the Hillers falling to nine and two on the season. Bellingham improving to five and three. The final score for the final time. Bellingham defeats the Hopkinton Hillers 13 to 11. For John Ritz on camera, my broadcast partner, Larry Sacklad, I'm Tom Nappy. Thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers softball on HCAM. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.